Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to row. It's your girl Chianti and I'm going to bring us a quick love reading. Again, this is going to be for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're cross-watching for the baby sharks, it can resonate from your perspective. It is a general read, so it won't resonate for every Pisces on the planet. But if it resonates for you, make sure you give me the like, comment, subscribe, and the share. If you're interested in booking me, make sure that you email me. I will provide the information in the description box below. I also go live and do subscriber appreciations, one card pulls, and other things. If you're interested in catching me when I do that, make sure you hit the post notification bell next to my, when you uh, go to my channel so that you can get notified when I am doing things live, okay? All right, baby sharks, let's go ahead and get into it. The current energy of the situation around you is the five of swords. Uh, Pisces, this could be just something that you're having a mental conflict about, but I feel like if you're having a mental conflict about it, it is concerning other parties. But the Five of Swords is the energy. There could be some sort of um, manipulation. There could be some sort of third-party situation. There could be some sort of um, competition going on here, right? If it's just not you just being really conflicted, right? Pisces, currently you, you or someone in your vicinity could be all in their head about a situation concerning other parties, right? The cause of this is because of the Queen of Swords, right? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, right? The cause of this, like for some of you, it has something to do with the communication from a queen of swords. Some of you, I know something could have went down with the feminine energy here, right? Or, like I said, right now, you're in this five of swords energy and it's because you're all in your head about a situation. You're trying to make a decision and you're trying to make head over heart decisions about this, right? You're trying to take your emotions out of a decision that you may have to make or, or a situation that you're looking at here. Put it where it goes. But the outcome is the three of wands and the six of cups, right? For some of you, I feel like you may have had some sort of disagreement with a family member. And now you're waiting to see what's going to become of this, right? The six of cups or the three of wands. For others of you, the outcome is you're waiting on your ships to come in with this situation dealing with a soulmate, right? The outcome is the eight of swords, right? And I found this very weird until I got to looking under the deck and I figured out, I, I'm pretty sure I know what this is about, Right? The Eight of Swords is, it, it is the, I'm sorry, the advice is the Eight of Swords. I feel like the advice is the Eight of Swords is because you're in your head trying to figure something out here or someone is. You are going to figure it out, the Six of Wands. Some, you could listen, you could be trapped in some sort of mental conflict or some sort of energy with someone who wants attention here. I got to tell you this, right? You could, the, 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 like the, the advice could, could be to ignore someone here, right? Because you could be acknowledging that you got to end some sort of stalemate with someone here. Someone is acknowledging that everything is okay in the situation and that they got to move forward. I have the Ten of Swords under the deck here next to each other twice between a cherry. You could be dealing with the Cancerian, a fire sign, an air sign. It doesn't matter who. I just feel like it's the energy, Pisces, of you definitely having to be analytical about some situation here because there is a Five of Swords here, right? The conclusion is there's something about waiting on the situation to, to happen or waiting to see what's going to happen with the soulmate connection. I feel like the, the 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 advice is the Eight of Swords is to kind of stay to yourself until you figure something out. I feel like you will be figuring it out, right? You, you may be having to acknowledge, right? This is like, you could, Pisces, somebody could be acknowledging that somebody just does something for attention, right? And so the, so the advice is to just... Let them do whatever they're going to do. Let them manifest whatever they're going to manifest and keep it pushing, right? Because I got the energy under the deck with the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Hangman, and the World. It's like you're kind of turning your back on a situation here. Like I feel like with the Nine of Cups and, and, and the Hangman, it's like you're kind of figuring out what it is that you want in a situation and what you don't want. You're turning your back on what you don't want. You're walking into an energy of getting wish fulfillment. It's because you've been enlightened, right? And I feel like there's a cycle closing out and a lesson to be learned behind this, right? You could be definitely be enlightened now on what someone is doing or how someone moves. And so you're bringing in some sort of ending here to a situation, okay? But I, I definitely feel like for some of you, there could have been something that went down with a family situation with you and a family member here, right? You could be peeping how someone moves or that someone does something for attention or something has been called to your attention here and you're having to be analytical about it and you may just be having to be in an energy of like, I'm just going to wait and see or let them go off and do whatever it is they doing or or, or let, let's see if they're going to get whatever it is they think they're going to get here, right? Mm, okay. Let's see what's going on here for Pisces. Why is the Five of Swords the current energy here for the baby sharks? Why is the Five of Swords here? 
the current energy surrounding the Pisces spirit. The Four of Pentacles wanted to pop out. You could definitely be dealing with someone who's very stubborn. Why is the Five of Swords here? Or you're not, or, or you're not going to give to that situation. Why is the Five of Swords here for, the, for Pisces? Why is the Five of Swords here for Pisces? Clarify the energy of the Five of Swords. The Ace of Wands. There's going to be a new beginning happening here. I feel like there's a conflict with you. Listen, somebody could have started a conflict with you. Someone could have came towards you with this Ace of Wands, wanting to cause some sort of conflict towards you. You could definitely be realizing that, right, Pisces? Or you're just definitely having a mental conflict, but it's be, it's behind. You're having some sort of like like conflict behind this new beginning, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Wands. There's definitely a heavy burden that's getting ready to be dropped. Someone is definitely dropping a burden of this. There's getting ready to be a new beginning, but I do feel like someone is all in their head about it right now. Someone could be trying to win at all costs something with you to get, get a new beginning. I feel like you're letting the burden go. You could be letting the competition go or something like that that you've been having with somebody and going in a whole new direction, dropping a burden of that. There's something about you and someone that you have a divine connection with, though. Why is the Queen of Swords here the cause of this for Pisces? Like, I definitely feel like you could be having to turn your back on a conflict here in order to have this new beginning, right? You could definitely be in that energy, right? Well, that's the Queen of Swords, the cause here. Somebody is definitely, like I said, there. somebody definitely, someone could have said something that's causing this to you, Pisces, for sure. But you could definitely be having to be analytical, judgment. See, I feel like someone's making a decision. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, but someone is definitely um making a hit, make, making a hit over heart decision about something here, right? The five of wands, see, strike, because there's been a conflict. Someone is making a decision about a conflict. Someone is having to be analytical about it. Or you're just really mentally conflicted about a decision. Some of you could be waiting on a decision. Someone could be waiting on a decision here. And they're like all in their head about it. They're waiting to see if someone's going to accept something here. Yeah, but I see you walking away from a conflict, Pisces. Someone is walking away from a conflict. And it's causing a tower moment. It's causing a tower moment. Why is the six of cups and the three of wands here for the for the outcome for this? Someone is def there is definitely an energy if someone is waiting on their ships to come in for a soulmate here. Someone is going to wait and let a soulmate get what they think they really want here, right? <laughs> someone is making a decision to turn it back and let someone get what they think they really want, right? Why is the six of cups here and the three of wands here for the outcome? The empress. Pisces. I feel like this empress is more than likely you, but put her where she goes. This is the queen of all queens. There's a lot of love here. The, the empress is, is fertile, abundant, right? She's about growth and, and fertility here. Someone could definitely be waiting on this empress to come in, right? Someone could be in this empress mode here, and she's waiting on her ships to come in in love. Look, the five of pentacles. There's definitely an energy of someone leaving something out in the cold. Someone is definitely moving in and moving in and moving in a new direction or leaving something out in the cold. Someone could be waiting on the Empress to come in or, 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 or Pisces, you could be waiting on your ships to come in and love, right? Four of Pentacles, five of Pentacles, seven of Cups. There's been a bunch of fuck shit behind this though, Pisces. Wow. Why is the Eight of Swords the advice for the baby sharks in this situation? Why is the Eight of Swords here? I definitely feel like this is going to be do nothing until you see something for what it really is. But you will, Pisces. The advice here could be to do nothing, right? To like turn your back on the conflict. Let things happen the way they're going to happen with the soulmate connection. Do nothing until you see what this really is. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Pisces? For the advice. Why is the Eight of Swords? The Knight of Wands. Yep, I feel like this is hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Ten of Cups. This is dealing with like your ultimate happiness. What's going to make you happy here? I feel like you could be dealing with somebody who is stubborn, right? Or someone who's holding back or holding back something that's old to you. Someone could be uh, putting off giving you something that's old to you here. Yep, I feel like someone could be definitely um like playing some sort of emotional games with you or something like that. Could be. But I feel like the advice here is, is to block out this Knight of Wands energy, right? Like be Ray Charles to the Knight of Wands energy, right? Block out the bullshit, right? I feel like the advice is here is to do nothing... With the situation where you could be dealing with the Knight of Wands, someone is reckless, impulsive, flighty. So it's something about ignoring that energy, right? Because I feel like there's an energy of having to move forward and make some decisions in order to bring a new beginning. If you're dealing with somebody who thinks that they're doing something slick or smart or they do something for attention or they brought some sort of fuck shit to your door, let them get what they think it is they want. And you stay in this Empress energy, okay, Pisces? That's how I'm seeing it. If the messages resonate, baby sharks, make sure you give me the like, comment, subscribe, and the share. And if you're interested in booking me, please email me. I love you guys and continue to take care of yourselves. Bye-bye, Pisces.